Hi and welcome. This is the first chapter of a new series that aims to update one of the oldest and most successful articles and videos, the Simplified Timeline. Written through several months, posted in early 2020, the Simplified Timeline is a four-part series created to make the simple tool as easy to use as possible. Fast forward to today, the Simplified approach is now backed up by a 13-part study about the intercept geometry, spanning almost through 60 years of publicly available documentation. So almost four years later, here we are. Time to refresh that old video and article slightly expanding the same simple approach and adding a few more info here and there. Most importantly, widening the view to show how geometry, timelines, angles, comps, weapons, contracts and all eventually become part of the set of notions and knowledge that help us players to feel a bit more part of that world we simulate every day and to achieve better results, of course. The effort in Rio is not the only point of view used in this series, as mentioned. The approach is wider. This means that the vast majority of the concepts can be used in other aircraft. That being said, we should never forget that aircraft introduced and upgraded throughout 50 years have incredibly different avionics and capabilities, therefore some considerations may be redundant to an older player, but fundamental to a Tomcat or Phantom 2, Rio or Nav. Contrary to the previous series, I plan to use more in-game and also real footage to convey the message, making the presentation less flat, so to speak, and more dynamic. I hope you will enjoy it. The upper is split into several videos. I prefer this approach to a very long and cumbersome video, which gets more complicated to navigate and follow the longer it gets. Instead, this series will have its own playlist later on. The content I plan to discuss is the following, keeping in mind that this is a long-term effort, and things can change whilst I add more videos and receive feedback. Let's briefly see what they include. Intercept geometry, basics. As the name suggests, shows the very basic notions related to intercept geometry. TA, ATA, AA, LS, SR, CAT, DGT, and so on. Several of these obscure acronyms are displayed in plain sign in our aircraft avionics, but often players do not fully understand what they mean or how they can take advantage of them. Comms, pictures, and brevities introduces a fundamental aspect of an emission, the controller. Whether it is an air or ground-based controller, Having a capable human controller is a must for any mission. This chapter introduces a number of common notions and brevities, from the bra to the leading edge picture. Additionally, there is a dedicated part to basic crew comms, useful for F-40 Rios, F-4 Navs, and possibly F-15 E Weasels. Real footage will be reviewed as well. Okay, centering up the T. What is a timeline introduces the concept of timeline and shows it using wide angle lens. Each block of the timeline is seen as a black box, which will be then discussed in depth later. The goal is presenting the tool itself without getting lost into the details. Timeline, flow, finally dives into the timeline itself, block by block, starting from the beginning of the intercept. This is the core of the series. From Bivoire to WBR, as the name suggests, adds considerations and information about the transition from Bivoire to within visual range. I plan to have this chapter separated from the previous, as there are additional considerations to be made from crew comms, such as the ARIO report, to the radar endover and the tasks of the area were merged. Timeline examples. It is a bit complicated as it depends on how many interested players I can find that are willing to sit down with me to record such examples. The intent is showing three types of examples, single group, multiple groups, multiple groups and recommits. However, finding eight additional players interested in these topics is very hard, so I may end up using either sketches or DCS or common modern operations to put something meaningful together. Determining MAR DOOR DR has probably caught your attention immediately. Since I aim to embrace a wider look at the timeline, there will be no ranges indicating the timeline itself until this point. Why? Because the threat we are facing drastically affects the timeline. As mentioned, I may rearrange and add or remove chapters depending on your interest and feedback. So if you think I've missed something important, please do let me know in the comments below. Finally, we get to the disclaimer. So in premise, this is a video game. It goes without saying, but I will say it anyway, that these videos are aimed at video games. BMS and DCS allow us to mimic what real crews do and have a lot of fun without years of study, effort and tough selection. What we do may even overlap to the real thing, but this is not a rule. Perhaps some content creators like to blend the lines between real military aviation and gaming, but I am on the opposite side. Doing otherwise would feel to me like a lack of respect towards men and women from any nation that do an viable but tough job. In secondis, the problem of the sources. In these videos, sources from US Navy, Air Force and other NATO forces and agencies are used and mentioned, but it is important to maintain the correct perspective. If a topic is freely discussed, chances are that it is either obsolete or 
extremely basic. Moreover, if the sources are Americans, the first problem is that public doc differ in their approach between Navy and Air Force. Another problem is that practices changed drastically through the years. This may sound like a minor issue, but mixing sources without being careful leads to a complete mess, with terms overlapping and having different meanings even when applied in the same context. Therefore, I have tried to use primarily US Navy sources, augmented only when necessary by others. Generally speaking, the procedures tend to be on the old side, whereas comms are taken from more recent documents. Keep this in mind if you run into sources that contradict with this content. And that's it for this first introduction and probably boring chapter. Thanks for watching and take care.